This is the Eastern Conference Finals as we're set for coverage of Game 1 right here on EA Sports. From Spectrum Center in Uptown Charlotte, tonight, the Charlotte Hornets taking on the Orlando Magic. Hi everyone, Ed Cohen with Jay Williams. Jay, we look at the Hornets coming in. They have got to get home court advantage and they'll need it in what's going to be a tight five-game series. And I'll tell you, these five games really make each game take on a greater importance than the seven-game series we're used to. The Orlando Magic begin the game with the basketball. Mo Bamba to Van Vliet. To Fultz. Fine to shoot. Short jump and a put-back slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. And stuffs it home. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Fultz to Van Vliet. To Mo Bamba. Five to shoot for Orlando. 4-3. His first effort off the mark. Hornets right now in possession. Turns and slams it down. Mm-hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Fultz into the front court. Down two to Gordon. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Rozier with it. He'll run the offense. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. the free throw. Fultz with the basketball. Down four. Markel Fultz missed his first. That one goes. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. Whistled for the foul. Chance coming up at the free throw line. Trust me, you want to avoid early foul trouble. Take that one as a warning. Down the first. No back-to-back -back free throws here. He missed the second. Jonathan Isaac. Shots no good. You have to like the confidence, but that was a difficult shot. Charlotte with the basketball. Nice pass to set things up. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Fultz into the front court. Five-point game. Short jumper off the mark. I love when I see a good contest. You're crowding the player's landing space, which naturally makes him worrisome about turning an ankle on that landing. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Markel Fultz. Blocked away. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Goes to the left side. Open look, and he buries it. Defense has to wake up. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball, and there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Stuff 
sit down with authority. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. Right down Broadway for the two. Defender has to pick him up. No doubt about where that one was headed. The crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. That's how you punctuate a good first quarter. Three more left to go, but you set the momentum for the second. Has a look. Wide open look, won't go. And as a shooter, this is when you start to second guess your shot. You've had three wide open shots that you just can't put through the net. But still, layup's good at the buzzer. Nice finish to this first quarter. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we... Yeah. Oh, Bamba powers it through. Jay, you know the deal. Keep the touches coming inside. As long as that defense continues to give you high percentage shots, you better take that every time. Stuffs it down with authority. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Jonathan Isaac can't connect from in close. I don't know why he rushed that shot. He was wide open. Take your time. And scores. Strong take. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Deep three at the buzzer. It's halftime here in game one. Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our... And that concludes our halftime. Time report. Thanks for joining us. And see you again after the game. Yes, and a foul. Hell of a chance at a three-point play. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Good to cap off the three-point play as they continue to open things up here in the third quarter. Fultz with the basketball. Looking to make something happen. To Van Vliet. He's looking for that touch. Across the timeline, it's Rogier. His guys lead here early stages third quarter. Now the Magic going to signal for a timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. Gordon. <laughs> Missed a wide open look. Markel Fultz able to recover with the block. Continuous effort is the key for your team's success. No one this entire ball game has quit on a play. That right there, that's what's going to help your team win this game. Got him. Got him. 
Now a drive, but the shot won't fall. It's Orlando's ball. Markel Fultz, knocked loose. Hornets grab it. Trying to cash in, gets it to go. Someone clearly missed their rotation. It's plain and it's simple. The difference between a winning team and a losing organization is the fact of their ability to finish plays. You have to find a way defensively to finish these type of plays to win this game. Fultz to Gordon. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Unable to connect on the free throw. Yes! And a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Hey, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. good as they continue to widen their lead. Isaac to Van Vliet. Slam dunk for Jonathan Isaac. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. With the fadeaway, burns him for the basket. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Gets a look, can't hit. And count the basket inside. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. You need to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane and create. Markel Fultz, great look and vision. Slams it down. He took it out on the rim that time. Oh, there's no better feeling than after throwing that one down, hanging on the rim a little bit, looking at your opponent beneath you, making him recognize that's where you'll be the entire ball game. And throws it down. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Nice pace, sets it up and slams it down. I don't think I could do that on a five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> Got a piece. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Runners good there. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Magic on the possession. Oh, ferocious slam inside. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. To the rim, lays it up and in. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Fred Van Vliet. Leaving no doubt, slams it down. That's what I'm talking about. Nice finish. It's all business. Driving right to the basket. Stuffs it down with authority. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's a problem city. Shot by folks, no good. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win a defensive battle. Third quarter comes to an end. The four it's matching basketball here as we start the fourth quarter. They're looking up at a big margin, and that, Jay, shouldn't come as a surprise to many. Well, for them to have a chance to win, I'm glad they brought their A game in their backpacks here to the arena, but that's not enough. They need their A-plus game, and they need to execute down the stretch. You need to throw everything in the bag at them in order to win this game. He 
was smothered and still gets it to go down. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. He throws it down. Jay, that's been the story this evening. I mean, another one? Another dunk? Another easy possession? I mean, how demoralizing can this be for the team? Why am I the only one yelling? I don't see anybody on the bench yelling. I don't see anybody on the court even angry right now. Now whistle, and Charlotte is going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in this fourth quarter. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Magic have it to Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon stuffs it down. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. Probing the defense. Easy path to the rim. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. To Rogier. Perfect feed to set up the basket. This is like a boxing match. If you fight against a great boxer, if he keeps jabbing you at the face, eventually that body will open up. You keep giving up layups like that, boom, a body blow is on the way. Fred Van Vliet to Gordon. That's what you've come to expect. Your best players making baskets. You know what I like about this pass play? Instead of putting his head down and forcing the action, he patiently waited for the play to develop. Orlando Ball to Aaron Gordon. A oh, pass stolen by the Hornets. Let's just let the clock run out. We got to get out of here. I got a dinner to go to. Throws it down. Well, look, you can't be caught flat-footed on defense. You need to be on the balls of your feet, especially in transition. You have to jab at that guy with the ball, hedge at him. Make him think that maybe you will take him. Maybe you'll fan out to a defender on the perimeter, but still keep him guessing. But when you don't do that, that's easy money. Yes, Aaron Gordon. He's now four for six. Ed, I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Fultz into the front court. Down a bundle. And look out. Big finish at the rim. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Orlando has it. Fultz to Mo Bamba. From the outside, no good to Rogier. And a nice finish at the rim. Fred Van Vliet, great feed, sets it up. And the finish, slam dunk. He's been a one-man show, but Jay, they're still down in this one. He's their lone bright star, their only star tonight. Some other of the supporting cast members really need to step up. Gets a shot up off the mark. Wait, I'm sorry. You get paid how much money to miss shots like that? That can't happen. And a chance coming up at the line. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. First one goes down. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Jonathan Isaac ah, tips it. Knocks it down from mid-range. They'll let one 
fly from half court. It's the Hornets with the victory. They've grabbed game one of this best of five series. For my partner Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This is EA Sports. Find out more at easports.com. Until next time, good night. time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Hornets put on a show and a blowout. The scoring display they put on is going to be hard to forget. It's hard to imagine anyone doesn't come away impressed with how effectively they score their points. The Charlotte Hornets can point to these guys for their scoring. Player of the game. And what we have here are highlights worth a thousand words. There's no question he stood out amongst the rest in today's matchup.